Many Fish, 28th October 2017, and I just got back home from doing stuff today, and this is still up on Drudge here on my computer, and I wanted to just uh, make a little short clip here to show that this is like where I'm going to start with another video, but this is probably not going to be here anymore, because once again, it relates to this. So that's all that is. Okay, yeah, just like I thought that would be gone by the time I got back here. But there's still some weird stuff. And uh, I had to I had to click on this. New religions obsessed with AI. Before I get back to the Catalina stuff. This is just crazy. I mean, this is the real deal, folks. People are very seriously not understanding that uh, they're creating or self-creating their image of God and it ain't the right God you know what I mean and they're doing it right in front of our eyes and people just seem to be oblivious to it but anyway I was reading the uh, the article the end of Adam and Eve the all they, they go through all this just bizarre stuff right but I get halfway down the article look at this who in their right mind put something on sale for 46 percent off at 33.32? You know what I mean? To me, what that tells me is that is part of the actual beast in the system. Okay, getting us to think that we're down a certain trail. These numbers can be very misleading and dangerous. Okay, so. Do I want to go down the AI God trail and do a tirade on that? No, because I'm talking about something else right now. But for them to just throw in some trousers for 46% off, give me a break. And the price is $33.32. This is the kind of stuff that goes on, and you got to be careful. you got to be real careful. I was just cut to do this kind of stuff. This is, this is what what I was made to do and uh, another article that I had to click in there was this Matt is saying that uh, you know the attack by North Korea is accelerating and I all I wanted to show you was this yellow and red five-pointed star yellow and red with the five-pointed star it's essentially the exact same thing and of course the anchor in the wings and everything symbolizes something but we're not going there Again, I'm just showing you how that dark, deceptive spirit works in the world. It's just that simple. So I was talking about Catalonia yesterday, right? And uh, it, it reminded me of Catalina. So I'm looking, where in Spain is there any cat? And there's several. Santa Catalina, Santa Catalina's castles, islands, all over the place, just like in the United States. And that is Santa Catalina Island. This is where Wishbone is. Go figure, right? So I start reading it. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. 22 miles long. We could go through all that stuff. It, but this number here just caught me. And, and for anybody who's been watching my videos for a while, 639 has just been uh, carrying around with me for months because of this sign. And this sign goes back to a few videos I did uh, on Route 66, the end of the trail, Route 66. I put it aside in a, uh, it's the only playlist that I ever made. <laughs> so you might want to watch those. You get something out of it to what I'm referring to here. But the Bel Air, the duality of the sign, the bells, uh, just all of it. And all this writing here will come into play, too. It's just absolutely amazing. But Catalina Island, that's where our little wishbone is. Look at the coordinates of Catalina Island. I kind of knew this, but not really. 33 degrees, 23 north. Can't make that up, man. All right? And there's a bunch of weird kind of esoteric, uh, weird history to it. But it didn't start really getting developed till like a hundred years ago. 1919 is when uh, the guy 
the Wrigley's Gum guy built this temple, but it's not supposed to be a temple of the religious sort. It's a temple to the god of this earth. It's a casino. You understand what I mean? So anyway, I said, wow, again, that's just bizarre stuff. And then, of course, I'm looking at the name, and I'm thinking, okay, we got Catalina, and then we got Catalonia. So I want to know Catalina. Cata is like a prefix, right? Isn't it? So I look it up. Sure enough, the Greek, this is like the Greek. It's a prefix meaning down, against, back, such as cataclysm. You know what I mean? And in the Hebrew, it actually means cut. Just cut. You can take that for what it's worth. I don't know what number in the concordance that is, though, unfortunately. But anyway, so where do we get from that? You know, cut, catastrophe, uh, so forth and so on. And so Lena, Catalina. I want to find out what Lena is. And sure enough, it's an actual Hebrew name. And it means dwelling. So we got cut, dwelling. Santa Catalina. I think some dwellings probably will be cut there. I hate to say it, but that's really what I'm getting. So I leave that. And again, going back to the whole Route 66 thing, uh, it's important that you kind of understand that because the way this plays in. So what I'll do right now is we'll jump to the map before I get into all this other stuff. Oh, I want to show you one more thing first. Catalina Island's um, little website. Catalina Island with the palm tree, so on and so forth. I'm just looking through it. And look at their phone number. 877-778. Then there's an 88 in there. 322. Yeah, that's that's real, right? And then you could go through it, and it shows here on these tours, right? It, it, the wishbone. The wishbone loop is where that area that I showed you before. Look at this. I just noticed this. Questions? A little winking cat with a little tongue sticking out. You believe that? Ask Lena. You know, Lena is a Greek goddess, too. So that's probably who they're referring to. I can't believe that. A little cat with a winking with a tongue sticking out. Yeah. Kata, kata. Anyway, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let this get away from me here. The maps. Let's go to the maps. My favorite, the Google map that just like kills my computer. If anybody knows of another Google Earth program that does the same stuff, basically, please let me know because I hate Google Earth. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. But thank you, Father in Heaven, for giving me Google Earth. But anyway, so I go to. Catalina and the reason that I want to go to back to the route 66 thing is because that's what started all this that's what led me to all this and I can't help but just show you this stuff you know what I mean if we go I want to show you where the route 66 thing ended first okay if we go over here to Santa Monica Santa Monica Pier this is officially, right here, is officially where the Route 66 ends. And there's a sign there that says, End of the Trail, Santa Monica 66. It's right there at the end of the trail. I show it all in those videos I'm talking about. And uh, notice that this 66 degree line, remember the other day, the uh, Masonic Compass and Squares, the 66 degrees here? Well, this 66 degree line crosses right over the end of the trail, Route 66, right? And so if we take a line, and we this is where it ends, like right here, right? We take a line, and we go from Route 66, end of the trail, and we go to the wishbone. And my, uh, it's just slowing down on me, guys. It, it drags really bad. And we go out to our wishbone, Check out, this is the wishbone right here. Check out the dimensions we get there. 46.64. Mirrored. 4664. And it's almost 169 degrees. It's a little bit off. But 46.64 in miles. A 
okay? You can't make that stuff up again, right? What does that mean? Well, again, this is the end of the trail. That's the end of the trail, folks. Route 66 on the 66 degree angle, okay? And you'll have to watch the videos to see how I got here. And it's just gone on and on since then. And this little sign was a huge part of it. And this continues. It's not just that because uh, Catalina Island is 639 feet in elevation. No, 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 no. That's just the part of it. We can, we can stay right here in uh, Santa Monica for a minute and look at some of the architecture around here. I want you to notice this. That is without a doubt. Most of you probably already know what I'm going for here. That's the Vesica Pisces. And you'll have to look into what that represents. Please, please do. Notice the baseball fields everywhere. I digress. Look at the design of this little park here. That's not normal. You know what that is? That is literally, and I'm not going to even go down a road here, but that is representing basically the the mother goddess the mother of exiles the locus of the pit essentially and i'm going to jump right here to new york okay we'll jump to the empire state building okay this is the empire state building but that place i was telling you about right here it's called governor's island right at the tip of manhattan and it's got a pentagram in the grounds that's what it is. You could, I don't, I'm not going to argue about it. But look at this little creature here. Okay? You see that? That's the mother goddess. Right there. Mother of exiles. She just happens to be right across from Lady Liberty. Alright? So that's what I'm talking about. And again, you know, I, I sincerely apologize. If this is hard for people to follow, that is so not my intent. And I have like 8,000 little tabs here. So getting around with a dragging Google Earth is a whole nother thing. This is where the Los An uh, Anaheim Angels baseball team plays. And that also comes into play in this whole thing. So I sincerely hope you're following me so far. Just the fact that that is 46.46 .46 miles from our end of the trail, 6666, the intersecting lines. And again, you know, this is this is Satan's Etch-A-Sketch. This is his vanity. He's He didn't create the Earth, but Google Earth isn't the Earth, okay? Yes, it is absolutely it is geologically where we live what we're looking at the dimensions everything but that's what satan does and he is really really good at it is taking creation and flipping it for his own agenda you have to understand that okay and we haven't even gotten into avalon avalon's a fictitious like king arthur type story thing uh, but if we go from our wishbone, I've never done this. I did it earlier just to see what it was. But again, we go from just like right in the middle of our wishbone here. That's what it is. And we go out to the uh, where this explosion in this area, these oil wells. And right to the center, we have basically 20 and a half miles at 32 degrees, 32, 33 degrees. It's right in that zone. But if we stretch it out a little bit right there, we could say we have a 2112. And if we bring it back a little bit, we could say we have a 199. There's a variation of things we could do. That may not be relevant, even if we just keep it at 20 miles. It's still 33 degrees. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It all fits together. And it all spells that I'm sorry to show this again. This is what I'm seeing over and over and over again. That this is, in fact, what is going to happen. I just can't help it, you guys. It's, 
it's upon me. If I don't tell you, then I have to, like, find a cave and never show my face and hide in the rocks and all. I don't want to be one of those people. I'm not one of those people. Neither are you. So, just that little bit there is enough to get us, like, a little weird, right? So, tonight, or tomorrow night, or whatever, we have Obama in Chicago. Good old Chicago. And there's a whole bunch. This is where Route 66 originated. Right here in Chicago. Watch Obama. There was a reason that he read Psalm 46 when he was dedicating, uh, what was he even dedicating there? I forget. Remember that? That's Obama. Remember in 2011? Look at, look at the, uh, the thumbs down. 144. Huh. When he read Psalm 46. And don't forget that Bush, years earlier, was reading from Psalm 23. In regards to uh, 9-11. So, think about that. Bush reads Psalm 23. Obama reads Psalm 46. And now, the 44th president is going to be starting his little coalition, his little world summit. Right here in Chicago. And that's where I'm going to have to start the next video, I think. Because this is too long. My computer's too slow, and I'm probably confusing the living daylights out of people. That being said, the, the moral of this video was obviously a continuation from the Catalina, Catalonia. The stuff that's going on there in uh, Spain is a big deal. They're, this could be a very big catalyst into uh, something much bigger. You know what I mean? So we keep an eye on it. But the ties uh, are just uncanny. I mean, I can't even, can't even describe how crazy this stuff comes to me, even wanting to look and, and seek it out. The way it comes is just crazy. But don't forget my calling from day one. This was the scripture that just told me this is what you're going to do. When I understood who these people, who these entities, what this spirit is that does its work in the dark and hides its counsel from the Lord and says who sees us and who knows us. And the Lord God Almighty, praise Jesus, has given me the blessing of being able to see things turned upside down for what they truly are. And I just try and share it with you guys and I sincerely hope that it helps someone and that you seek Jesus because time is getting short. Just got to tell you, that's all. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 